Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see what is going on, Aries. What's going on in your energy? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what is going on in Aries energy? What do they need to know? What's most important for them to know? Okay, so let's see. Okay, I was gonna pick this one up anyway. So we have religious. It says someone is into their religion, goes to church, tithes, follows religious dogma. Okay, so we're gonna clarify that and see what's going on with that. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone here that has different religious, I mean, different beliefs than you, a different background, they grew up different. I'm definitely, I'm getting something about an arranged marriage. Okay, so somebody here could have, um, somebody here could be with somebody they don't want to really be with, but because they're family and then want them to do it, they're there. Okay, we have intelligent that flipped over. Let's see, what else for um Aries? Hmm. Somebody could be Christian and someone else could be spiritual. Okay. So we have low vibes. It says low vibrational person, energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy, harboring, suffering, fear, and anger. Hmm. So I'm definitely getting a fake ass religious person. This person, you know, they have all these religious beliefs, but then they act like a goddamn fool. So it's like, what's really your issue? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I won't, oh Lord, I'm not going to go there. The intelligent car keeps flipping out. So I'm going to keep it. We have intelligent that came out here. Somebody's playing a game of chess, not checkers. Hmm, somebody's trying to strategize something or outsmart you in a way. They could be using their religious beliefs to kind of like bash you or make you feel a certain type of way about what you believe in, whoever this is. Let's see. What else for Aries? Okay, that's too many. That's too many spirit. That is way too many. I'm not taking all those. Let's get two more, please. What else for Aries? I don't like how those flipped over. What else for Aries? Okay, yeah, so we have woke. Being aware, knowing what's going on in the community and humanity. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting... You, you and someone here have two different beliefs. Okay, and somebody's trying to outsmart you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, witchcraft. Fifth house. You could be dealing with the Leo. What else for Aries? This shit gonna be crazy, Aries. What else? Okay, we have sixth house. What someone does routinely, their responsibilities, their skills, and training, their employment, job. So some of you guys can have Virgo in your chart. Some of you guys are, um, you do this for a living, you're a spiritualist for a living here. Somebody thinks they can, you know, I don't want to go into the whole religious versus the whole spiritual thing because really it goes hand in hand. I'm not even going to go there. I'm going to be quiet. So you leave comments about whatever Aries, but okay. What else? <laughs> what else for um Aries? <laughs> okay. Self-love wanted to pop out. One more for Aries. Okay, we have Bestie. It says, one who is always by your side, who never ditches you, and who would take a bullet for you here. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have Divine Masculine. This situation involves a Divine Masculine, takes action, protects, looks out for the family. Then we have Off the Grid, Truth Unveiled, 10th House. That's Capricorn energy, isn't it? Hmm. So this person is trying to ghost. Maybe you're a divine masculine here. Or you could be a divine masculine that's trying to ghost the situation if you're watching this. Or you just don't want to be bothered. You're, you're moving away from this and going down a different path here. Somebody could be trying to make you feel a certain type of way. If, whether you're spiritual, spiritual or religious, you're not supposed to bash nobody else's belief system. That's the issue. That's the issue that I have with some religions. I ain't even going to lie to you. Because from my experience, I've met a lot of religious people that don't live by their religion. They claim to be religious, but they don't really, there's nothing, 
they're not they're not doing what they're supposed to do as a religious person as somebody that believes in god or believe in whatever it's like how can you call yourself religious or sometimes spiritual if you're acting like a dick <laughs> or you're judging other people because of their beliefs like it's just weird to me and i'm getting an energy of this reading getting ready to go that way so let's just see what is this religious card spirit for aries what is this religious card? Because I'm definitely getting somebody going down a different path. Whether it's religious or spiritual, it doesn't matter. We finna see what it is. Four swords, the hangman. The devil, king of wands. But the four swords, I'm definitely, I, I just saw a baptism. Somebody here could be getting baptized or maybe you guys, uh, maybe most of you have gotten baptized before, right? Um... Definitely getting a lot of thinking and contemplating about something here. Somebody's like overwhelmed or they're stressed. Somebody feels stuck. They're trying to figure out what to do. There, there's an energy of trying to release something. Somebody here could be trying to sacrifice someone. Somebody does have different... Um, somebody's demonic. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely getting somebody being demonic. But let, let's see. What's this religious card? This is... Uh, yeah, five of wands. You know, uh, somebody is reviewing something. Yeah, somebody is looking at something the way how people are, and they claim to be this, they claim to be that, but they're acting like demons. Somebody is. Um, there's a lot of fighting and conflict going on. There could be a battle with family. I'm just getting a big fam family brawl or a dispute here with family members because of a religion or because somebody wants to go a different way. Maybe somebody wants to be more spiritual than religious, so they're trying to transition out of that. They have different beliefs than, than these people. You have different beliefs than these people or something like that, and they're mad about it. Or they're trying to fight you about it. It's like, bitch, what happened to the religion? What happened to you being religious? Why are you trying to fight? Why are you judging me because I want to be something else? You know, that that's the issue that I be having, but... uh child there's like competition or battle or something what's this religious with the five of wands these readings get really personal yeah ace of cups so there's new love coming in here or you're just you're pulling back your energy aries and you're pulling into uh, pouring into yourself at this time you're trying to pamper yourself and go towards whatever you feel confident in and whatever your path is somebody here is trying to stop you from going towards your path or stop you from doing something that they don't feel is right okay for some of you you have new love coming in your life where you guys have different belief systems and you guys are fighting and arguing over shit maybe your values and your morals and shit don't align definitely getting the higher for energy that's taurus energy some of you guys could be dealing with a preacher or some type of priest or some type of uh spiritualist or something like that or you could be a spiritualist but i'm definitely getting there could be a new love coming in your life and because of somebody else's background or what their family wants there's a lot of fighting and arguing and shit about it what is the uh, religious card? Huh. With the Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands. Yeah, the Death card. Yeah, something here is just over. Somebody's transitioning out of maybe religion or something. Yeah, because somebody is learning something from someone else and it fits their belief system. Yeah, whoever this Divine Masculine is. Could be an Aries like you or you could be a Divine Masculine watching or I don't know. Somebody here could be nervous about coming towards you because of this. Whatever this fighting and arguing shit is. This person could be very traditional. They could have been very religious. But it wasn't fitting for this person or something. Or you. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. But I definitely see death and rebirth. Scorpio energy talks about um, taboo. Things that are different. Things that are not really um, talked about amongst other people. Or people that look down on certain things. So I'm definitely feeling like... a. Somebody is transitioning out of a period of uh, listening to what other people say or going by societal norms here. It's normal for you to be religious or it's normal for you to be a whatever, but that's not this person's norm. They don't, they're fighting against it because that's not what they're being called to do. Just period. So, you know, what's this five of wands? Okay, the sun. Yeah, a lot of things are being exposed here. Somebody's going towards their happiness. You could be dealing with a Leo. 
So I'm definitely getting a lot of things are being exposed. Somebody is gaining enlightenment. They're doing, somebody's breaking like generational curses and going towards their, their healing here. Their path that they're supposed to be on here. Doing a lot of inner child healing. There could be even fights about a child being baptized or being religious or doing this or doing that. Okay. Yeah, somebody here could be like pregnant or something. And there could be fights about what they want their child to be or what... You know, just crazy shit. <laughs> okay. But I'm definitely getting... That's not the case. Somebody is going towards their happiness here. It could be causing like a fear and anxiety and worry. But whatever is being exposed, yeah, the Tower of the Seven of Wands. Yeah, standing your ground. Standing up for what you believe in. Seven of Wands with the Tower. Yeah, there's a lot of defensive energy. A lot of having to stand your ground. A lot of trying to protect what's yours. Yeah, so <sighs> what's this ace of cups right here? The Queen of Wands. Let me see. Who's this Queen of Wands? Let's see what the energy is coming off this. That could be you, Aries. Who's, who's this Queen of Wands? I like to clarify to people though, the court cards. So, yeah, the chariot, this could be you, Aries. You're moving on from this old and outdated belief system, whether you're religious or whatever you believe is outdated for you. Doesn't matter. Somebody here is just moving on, moving through the chaos. There's definitely going to be triumph and um, victory over whatever this arguing and shit is. This exposure is bringing you to a place of peace. I feel like happiness, joy, comfort. You're, you're going for whatever it is that's going to bring about healing for you. And if you have to get away from these people... Whatever they're trying to throw on you, whatever belief system they have is not working for you, then they can just get the fuck on because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't fucking matter what they believe in. It's all about you and your happiness and doing whatever you need to do. But I just feel like you guys are moving forward. Yeah, you're not letting nobody coerce you into doing something to trade and reverse is coercion. I feel like these people have been trying to coerce you into being something or doing something that you just were not. And so I feel like you've ended something and you're moving on. Some of you guys are getting new love. You guys have a lot of competition around you here. But I feel like this is more so like uh, family members or I don't know. It could be a whole church that's doing this. And somebody here is religious, I'm quite sure, you know, you go to church and things like that. Nothing wrong with church either, but I'm just saying, you know, because I've been religious as well. I just tra I transitioned to being spiritual because religion didn't fit for me. But, uh, oh, Lord. This is a very controversial subject, but what is the death card? <laughs> so we can move on from that card. What is the death card? Somebody here, the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Yeah, that's been confusing the fuck out of you. Okay, this person is stuck in some type of illusion. Maybe they're the issue. <laughs> I just feel like somebody's very judgmental over what you believe in and what you want to do with your life who's this who's this queen of cups here some of you guys are, are, are finding out that you're psychic you're very powerful queen of cups queen of wands is, is a psyche some of you guys are natural born witches okay you're into divination or the occult and that's different from definitely maybe different from religion even though it all ties hand in hand if you guys know what i know you know it just ties hand in hand it's just a title religion is just a title for you know but some of you guys, like, like I was saying, some of you guys could be saying that you're psychic. You have psychic abilities. You are, you're not really probably understanding where the argument is. I feel like a lot of people are just cl like closed-minded. They're a little bit sleep. A lot of people are not really as woke as you are. I don't like using the woke word, but you know what I'm saying. What's this, what's this death card with this queen of cups? A lot of you guys are very empathetic too. You can feel energies like really, really, really strong. What's the death card with this Queen of Cups? Okay, the Six of Swords, yeah, and the Six of Wands. You guys could be seeing 666 or 66 could be significant. But yeah, you're moving forward. You're definitely moving forward. You could be this Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, okay? Because you, you're realizing something about your life and what you want to do. Six of Wands, some of you guys could be seen in the public eye. You get a lot of attention. But I definitely feel like um, you're getting rewards and recognition for your hard work here. Some of you guys could actually be mediums. You do this for a job. You do this for work. Okay, but I definitely see, uh, see you finding a peaceful resolution to a situation or you could be moving away from a mother figure that's like this that's been trying to throw 
their belief systems onto you as a grown ass woman or man and you're just like no mother or not i don't agree with you and i don't want to be that so i don't want to be what you want me to be type shit you know so i just see that you guys are moving on moving on to calmer waters you, you can feel yourself being spiritually guided you're healing you're growing <clears throat> you know yeah i'm just getting um somebody here could even want you to kind of like you know get a job you know stick with the job and stay there and do this and do that but you're not you don't want a job you want to be a business owner you're trying to do bigger and better shit you know what i'm saying you want to be a business owner not saying that people that work a job are not bigger and better but i'm just saying it's not for everybody just period not everybody wants to work at a job everybody not everybody wants to um have to listen to what somebody else has to say or move on somebody else's time you know that's just how jobs are period i've worked tons of them I know that that's how they are. <laughs> you guys know it as well. A lot of people are trying to step out on faith and start their own businesses and move on their own time. And even having, being an entrepreneur is even more hard, even more difficult than a job, right? So I just feel like somebody's like leveling up. Somebody is like realizing who they are. They're, they get a lot of attention. It's because of their aura, their aura. They're a very powerful person. So somebody feels like that they're meant to do more. They're been, meant to be some type of leader, queen of wands. Yeah, there's somebody here spews a lot of sex appeal. They're very um beautiful inside and out. They're very different, very unique. Okay, they somebody here could even look different. Somebody could be a foreigner or something. You know. But yeah, let, let's move on, guys. Cause lordy lordy. What what's this uh low vibes card? Ten of Wands, three of swords. You could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely hearing something about projecting. Somebody is, yeah, the lovers in reverse. So yeah, there's definitely, I'm get, definitely still getting that arranged marriage um, that keeps coming up in my mind intuitively. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra here with the three of swords, the lovers in reverse. So um, I'm definitely getting a, a lot of deep rooted generational curses here that somebody is breaking somebody is breaking free from something could be a relationship somebody has made the decision to walk away because something is a burden that i'm definitely getting a breakup um and i'm definitely getting a lot of trust issues or a lot of somebody here that's not taking accountability for something that they did could be a third party here in the way obviously i, I feel like that but um Yeah, something is burdening somebody or weighing. It's something is weighing on somebody's heart really heavy. Their heart chakra. Something is weighing on someone. It's a burden. Something is like um, somebody's like close to burning out here. But tens are always an ending, and I feel like somebody's getting fed up. Maybe it hasn't ended just yet. It possibly has. I definitely see a breakup, but there's chaos going on surrounding it possibly. But I just feel like somebody's like at their wits end. Something is too much responsibility or just a lot to carry around. Could be emotional baggage that somebody is carrying around. Yeah, it's causing somebody to have trust issues here. There's definitely some type of discord going on in a relationship or a disconnect here. Something could have broken you and your person, person up. This person could have been running in and out. They didn't know whether to believe their, their family members, maybe about you or... Somebody here could have been, I'm about to say jealous. So they could have been jealous and they broke you two apart here. This person is religious, your spiritual Aries or something. This, um, this, I'm definitely getting an energy of like family members or maybe even an ex or something like that um, has a different belief system than you do. So they, they put themselves as a third party in this relationship. They broke you two apart and your person could have listened to these people. Somebody could have said that you were demonic, you were evil, you were this, you were that, and it's they ass. It's the it's I'm gonna just say how I feel it. It's the religious person. That's the demonic one. They're demonic, they're evil. And now that has been exposed. Somebody is moving forward. Yeah, I'm definitely getting an energy of that. There could be a, a fake ass spiritualist in the mix too, though. Somebody that's faking spirituality, but they could be very um demonic. I'm definitely getting too that uh they represent the dark side of spirituality. I'm definitely getting somebody here was doing some type of spell work. And that's been exposed. Yeah, the Bible is spells. 
okay so yeah i'm getting it's that deep since religious is here and woke is here it's definitely giving me spiritual warfare or some type of a cult or a dark one some type of um belief system yeah somebody was like abusing that somebody was abusing it abusing that um religious and that whole spiritual thing and they were saying, probably saying to your person or whatever the case was that you were this and that, but they're really the low vibe. They're really the bad energy. They're demonic. They're evil. And that's what it is. So it's crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. What's the lovers in reverse? And I feel like somebody's actions have showed that they're not demonic or evil. Some of you guys have glowed up here. You've moved forward and somebody can see clearly that you're not the demonic or evil one is their fucking family that is yeah the hermit virgo energy so there's that sixth house house energy so this is going within introspection somebody has seen somebody could have paid attention to someone's routine or seen that somebody was up to something okay it's definitely what i'm getting the hermit is the sixth house somebody um i mean the virgo is the sixth house somebody could have um could have seen that their health was declining or something about their routine has been thrown off or this person that was your person could have been paying attention to somebody's routine or spying on someone here and seeing that uh something was off about them but i'm just getting a lot of deep shadow work here going on a lot of introspection solitude shining a light on different things somebody is ghosting a, a relationship somebody sees that something is just not working this person could have even gotten mental help or mental therapy here. I mean, uh, therapy sessions to get help with their trust issues or. Yeah, somebody is saying that they're too wise for this shit. They're, they have a, this person has an old soul, a deep um, sense of knowing who they are. And it didn't work with somebody's religion or didn't if they were religious, they transitioned or something. It, something here just didn't feel right internally for somebody mm. what's the three of swords right here i'm getting too many messages at once i can't even get one story together so the eight of wands so yeah somebody i feel like somebody's moving on very quickly from heartbreak here Somebody could be coming in to communicate with you. It could be a Libra or Gemini or Virgo, Leo. It could be anybody. But somebody somebody that's heartbroken, someone here that ghosted you in the past possibly could be trying to communicate with you. Some of you guys are trying to move away from something. You're moving away from this pain or this depression, this anxiety. What's this Eight of Wands right here with the Three of Swords? Or somebody's moving on from a third party situation. There could have been a choice between two. Yeah, the tower. Scorpio Aries energy. Yeah, a lot of sadness. Somebody was um somebody here caused a separation between you and your person. They caused a lot of chaos and destruction to this relationship. This whoever this third party is, whatever the fuck, they they did something to break you and your person apart yeah since you guys negative energy or it could have been breakup spells it could have been something here i'm definitely getting that energy okay um mm, lord this reading is pretty darn crazy definitely some betrayal here somebody uh was doing something to someone's health yeah this this is uh, um so someone here is could be grieving as well they could be going to seek help or get therapy about this um mourning or grieving of a relationship here somebody has always felt lost or alienated they never felt felt like they fit in either definitely somebody sending you upheaval or chaos or something though they send you bad vibes i don't know what they're doing to do it just yet but i'm definitely you know somebody could be doing some fucking spell work or something i just feel the energy what's this ten of wands yeah because somebody's like physically tired or drained or they're they're mentally ill or depressed or something 
It's like the three of swords could talk about ill health. The ten of wands is like I feel like somebody's physically tired or weighed down. Somebody's sending something. What's the um sending chaos and upheaval and causing somebody to to be um I don't know, child. What's the ten of wands? Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting someone here as a big responsibility, or there are a lot. This relationship has weighed someone down to the point where they want to be single. They've broken free from something that was weighing them down. I felt that. The Ten of Wands is a 10. So something here, I feel like it's over. Something that was too much to carry around or a burden. I'm definitely getting, you want to be free or this person is breaking free from something. They're single now. They've broken up with somebody that was low vibe, bad energy, all that. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. You could be feeling someone's energy, Aries. You could be feeling that somebody's like really sad or depressed. They, they could be like projecting a bit, or like maybe not on purpose, but they're sending you shit because they're way down or something like that. You could be in this Nine of Pentacles energy, somebody that's single, abundant. You could just have a lot on your plate too, Aries, with the Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, but your money is increasing, your business is growing, things like that. Somebody here is definitely weighed down by how they treated you or what they did. They put you in a third party. After a time of doing deep shadow work and introspection, somebody is now breaking free from a, a relationship or a family shit that's just all over the place. So I'm also getting if somebody puts you in a third party situation, this third party is evil as fuck. They're demonic. This person is very superficial. They're a gold digger or something. They want to keep up some type of image here that's weighing someone down. Your person, if they're with your person. But anywho, what's this intelligent card? These people, yeah, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Hierophant, yeah, the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups, yeah. And the Two of Cups, the Seven of Swords, yeah. So somebody is doing breakup spells or separation spells. This person is demonic. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. I'm so happy this came. I'm not happy it came out because it's not good. But I'm saying it's backing up what I'm confirming. That's not even here. I'm just feeling the energy. I feel the energy intuitively that somebody's like sending dark evil shit the queen of pentacles in reverse first of all somebody that's a gold digger they are a gold digger they're very demonic this person is very evil they're mean-spirited this person doesn't care about nobody but themselves um and they, they do dark magic queen of pentacles in reverse is dark magic i feel like you're just queen of wands you're too powerful to to ever get like they could be sending you spell work here they could be going to pay somebody they could be going overseas to get spell work done could be dealing with the taurus i definitely felt taurus energy but i feel like you know you could be this leader you could be this spiritual guru here you're looking out to the future i feel like you're not even giving a fuck you could know that somebody's doing this with this intelligent car somebody feels like that they're smarter than you or that they can kind of like trick you out your spot by doing this weak ass spell work it's not working it's not working yeah queen of pentacles in reverse this could be your own mother or this could be somebody's ex-wife is what I'm getting or ex-husband or whoever. But they ass is demonic. They're very evil. This person is, I'm definitely, I just heard very arrogant. They have a superiority complex <clears throat> and they're a user. This person is unstable, very, very much so insecure. This person is very disloyal. They could be a sex trafficker. They could be like a prostitute or something even this person um could be trying to get you to lose weight too they could be doing spell work like that i don't know what it's called but there's all type of damn spell work this person is very neglectful this person could be a bad mother or father if they have kids oh lord what's this intelligent card with this queen of pentacles in reverse wow yeah see <laughs> king of pentacles and the ace of wands so yeah somebody is in a toxic ass marriage or they were The High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Somebody is really trying to keep someone stuck. Somebody is trying to keep someone stuck here by paying a priestess or they, they ask as an evil ass witch, investing in spell work here and trying to wait and see if it's going to work here to keep someone stuck. King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So this could be your divine masculine here. This could be your person or this could be you, whoever. Somebody is in like a marriage here where there could be a lot of money and sex. But there's nothing substantial here, nothing of substance. You already know that somebody here is investing in spell work or they're trying to see 
if whatever they're doing is going to work. There's a new beginning that's trying to come in, possibly, that somebody is trying to fuck up. Somebody wants you to change your view of your person or your person here. This person, whoever this third party is, wants you, wants this person to change their view of you. Someone's using someone here for their stability, their energy, just period. Somebody's like an energy harvester. They, I'm definitely getting a succubus or an incubus energy. What, what's this queen of pentacles in reverse? This is some weird ass shit. Okay, yeah, king of cups in reverse. It could actually be a man doing this for some of you. It could be a woman for some of you, but it's some for some of you, it's some actual man. Somebody here that's a goddamn loser. King of cups in reverse is somebody here that's very unkind, emotionally immature here. Yeah, somebody here could be stuck in a marriage. King of cups in reverse is a married man or married woman. Somebody here that's emotionally unavailable. Somebody's trying, this queen of pentacles here is trying to keep this masculine like this. Or somebody wants you to turn your emotions off for this person. This person is so out of touch with their emotions. Yeah, seven of cups. Somebody's like confused. Somebody's stuck with a dark ass. Uh, this person, for some of you, they could even be a pastor. They could be some type of priest, but they're dark, whoever this is. Somebody could be a tarot reader too. Somebody here could be a psychic. You could be the psychic here, um, Aries. Yeah, we do have the Queen of Cups with the King of Cups in reverse. So this, this Queen of Pentacles here is doing something to um, stop your person from being emotionally available um, and things of that nature. This could be a couple doing this too. That's doing this to your person. Child. Uh... Mm -mm -mm, this is ridiculous. Um, somebody's like a gaslighter. Their ass is a narcissist. Whoever this hoe is in reverse, they're a fucking loser. This King of Cups too. If it's a goddamn, if it's another karmic doing this shit, they're a loser too. It could be multiple people doing this, or this Queen of Pentacles is trying to do this to this King of Cups. This Queen, this King of Cups is distorted right now because of this spell work or something. What's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, the devil. Somebody Capricorn energy. Yeah, someone here is doing spell work to kind of block this person from feeling anything. It's like somebody is numb. They're just in low vibrational energy. Yeah, they're taking crazy ass risk possibly here. The king of pentacles with the devil. Definitely could be somebody's parents doing this to a couple. Somebody's like they're your parents or somebody is jealous of this relationship you have with someone else or this strong twin flame connection or it doesn't have to be twin flame, just a strong connection you have with someone. Or um, this could be your person's third party just person that they're married to that is doing this to them and you or trying to keep y'all separated somebody's like in very much so like a somebody is very greedy they're stuck with someone that's greedy they have this toxic attachment to this person this person is like under some type of spell work or something right now they're they're giving to this person uh lord Yeah, this person is an illusion right now or something. I feel like you told this person. You're this woke person. You told this person that somebody is very evil, but they couldn't tell. They were confused because this person claimed to be so religious or so this and so that. And their ass is doing like evil ass shit behind the scenes. Okay. And like I, like I was feeling in the beginning, this person could have lied and said that you were the evil one. Because, you know, the stigma of spiritual people today, the, the uh, um, what do you call that? The stereotype type of uh, uh spiritual people is that we're evil or we do witchcraft and witchcraft is just something to help you connect back to nature there is dark and evil to everything clearly i mean there's dark and light to everything clearly even religion uh, all of this really one and the same i'm gonna keep saying that because it is nobody really understands that or people do but i don't fucking know but anywho this person here is stuck giving to somebody here uh Child, I don't goddamn know. <sighs> What's this uh, Ace of Wands? They could even be doing spell work or sex magic. 
Okay, yeah, the Empress and the Eight of Damn Pentacles. That's you. You're this Empress. You could be this Queen of Cups and this Queen of Wands. Because you're transforming. You're glowing up. You've, you've, you're in the Empress energy. Yeah, this person knows that your person, your person here is very cold towards you. This person knows that your person wants to come back and tell you some type of truth or speak about something. Be authentic. Okay, and this person here has a strong sexual desire for you too. They're under some damn spell work here. I feel like a lot of you guys suspect it. They are, they come in very sexual, but that's because work is being done. Somebody wants your person to close off their heart chakra, their emotions, their feelings, and just keep being in this demonic ass energy where they're running around having sex with other people or making you feel like um you're just a sex object okay and that's not true that's not how this person feels so you could be kind of you already know this though i feel like you know this you know that somebody is they really care about you but you know that something spiritual is going on here somebody's playing with the energies this person knows this queen of pentacles in reverse that's doing the spell work they know that you're their wish fulfillment this your person's wow what, what's this eight of pentacles right here <clears throat> yeah the star somebody is working so hard to keep somebody in despair they this person wants you to lose faith in this connection here some of you guys somebody here could be pregnant the ace of wands with the damn empress and the eight of pentacles somebody could be trying to trap somebody with a pregnancy here they're really focused on trying to do this to keep them stable and secure yeah, somebody's a, a somebody's a weird ass bitch. <laughs> Whoever this is is a fucking weirdo. Could be um an Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, strong Virgo, Leo. Yeah, karmic justice is here though. Justice is going to be repaid because this shit here is fucking ridiculous. The star in reverse talks about um being pessimistic somebody wants to wants to uh, change your view of them i mean somebody wants you to change your view of your person or vice versa uh, the star reverse talks about feeling hopeless despair losing faith they're trying to work to stop whatever this is and i feel like they're they're the ones in despair what's this uh empress what's the empress some of you guys are very powerful manifestors Okay, yeah, the Five of Cups, you're healing, you're growing, you're moving forward. This period, you guys can be seeing 555 five, five or 55. <laughs> Excuse me. Five of Cups in reverse is like moving forward, letting go of the past, grieving. Or not uh, grieving, but maybe you've been there already. You've done that. You already grieved or mourned about a situation. You're still the Empress. You're a divine feminine. Somebody here is jealous. This could be someone's baby mama or baby daddy. Or some, or your own mother, or whoever, that's doing this weird ass shit. It could be a friend, it could be any damn body. Only y'all know who it is. But uh, they're focused on you. They're focused on trying to like make you out to be. I don't know the shit. They're trying to maybe make you out to be this kind of sex fiend or something like that. For some of you, if you're pregnant, they're trying to use spell work to end your pregnancy too. I just feel called to say. This person, they ass is fucking evil. What's the star in reverse? Somebody is like um, trying to get you out of the star status. Some of you guys are, are star quality people. Like you're divine feminine. You have, you know how to manifest. You're very powerful. Like you don't need to do any of this low vibe, low grade ass bullshit. The star in reverse. Somebody here wants to stop you from being an inspiration or motivational or whatever the fuck. What's the star in reverse? Yeah, to a source. Somebody is trying to block you or overwhelm you or overwhelm your person. <sighs> Somebody is really trying to do this shit. This shit is wicked. To a source is uh, definitely confusion, illusions here. Trying to have to, um, trying to call somebody to. They're just trying to make it harder for your person or you to do certain things. You guys could just really be focusing on your work. There's something creative that you're doing. They could be trying to bring your following down is what I just heard. Or they could be trying to, I don't know, man. This is, this is stupid. This is some stupid ass shit.
somebody wants someone to be very codependent on them or very needy, very clingy to them so that way they won't explore new shit. Two of Swords, though, is a stalemate. It's stagnation. It's confusion. It's causing somebody to be closed off, very overwhelmed or anxious or worried. Somebody here doesn't even like where they work. So this person here could be pregnant. This damn, uh, whoever the fuck this hoe is doing this stupid ass spell work. They're about to make me mad. What's this? What's this woke card right here? Okay, Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked away. You don't have time for none of this shit. And I feel like you told your person this. I just feel like you walk away, you pray for this person, and that's just what it is. But the Eight of Cups is somebody here walking away. This is walking away. This is uh, definitely um, a rediscovery when you with the Eight of Cups. This is walking away from things that are that are not emotionally fulfilling. But the Eight of Cups talks about rediscovery, redefining yourself, going on travel possibly for some of you. But definitely walking away from a situation, isolating yourself from the bullshit. What's this woke card? Yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's a spiritualist, a priest, or something like that. Somebody's definitely in their purpose. This is what somebody is meant to do. And you could do, spell, you're really good with doing your doing spell work here. Spell work to help other people, not to fucking harm nobody. So that's what somebody got misconstrued here with their evil ass. Yeah. Yeah, you could be very unique, very different. And these people here, they got you fucked up. They got you fucked up. They're the ones doing this fucking spell work. They're, they're the ones that know about this shit and they're the religious ones because the five of wands is over here. They're fighting and shit, arguing. They're being exposed. It's going to come to light. If it hasn't happened yet, it's going to. You could be dealing with the Taurus, with the Hierophant upright. But yeah, somebody has a different belief system than this. I'm just saying. That's just what it, the fuck it is. Um, some of you guys could be teachers. You're definitely spiritual gurus though. You could, uh, yeah, you help guide and heal other people. What's this woke card with this Hierophant and the Eight of Cups? Yeah. Yeah, the world. Yeah, some of you guys can help people all over the world here. You could speak out to other people all over the world. But definitely a cycle is closed out, honey. A cycle is done, it's closed, it's over. Because somebody keeps conforming to the bullshit here. Somebody keeps getting sucked in with this spell work. It's like... This person is just around a bunch of low vibe shit. That's why the spell work is, is, is easily working on someone because they keep either going backwards or they're not. And it's just hard to say that too because when you're when somebody's doing spell work on you and you're already depressed or you're sad or you could over drink or uh, do different substances, that's that's low vibe shit. That's, it is, it's easy for the spell work to attach if somebody is doing this shit. Somebody, yeah, somebody could be a heavy drinker or something. But, okay, what's this Eight of Cups right here? What's this Eight of Cups? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, you see through the bullshit. Whoever the woke person is, you see through whatever the shit is. Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. Yeah, I feel like you were never harmed anyway. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Three Aces on the board. So definitely new beginnings here for you, Aries, or whoever this person is. Yeah, you're too strong here. You're too strong. You know how to heal yourself. You could possibly feel the spell work, but it's not harming you or affecting you in any kind of way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay, you see through somebody's bullshit. You're going through a major change in your life too. Yeah, you're you're moving forward, but Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. It could be a breakthrough in communication, or you found out the truth, and that's what prompted you to walk away because you, you you're you're following your intuition here. You communicated something too. You said something. But this is like a moment of truth or an aha moment. Yeah, you you definitely got a clue. <laughs> you know what's going on over here. So what's the Hierophant? Or if you don't, it's coming in. Or maybe this reading is confirmation for somebody. But what's the Hierophant? Okay, yeah, Four of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys are on stage, yeah. Somebody, yeah, the Magician, the Seven of Cups, the goddamn Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. This person, they're in love with you, though. Somebody here is in love with you, or it's your person that's in love with you, and somebody is trying to do this shit here. They are. The Page of Pentacles is a tarot reader, or um, somebody, with it in reverse, it could mean dark magic. But somebody here could be watching tarot to see if this magic is working, or to see if you're going to keep working, or 
they're trying to plan something here to break you two apart or some stupid ass raggedy ass shit like this this shit is dusty and this shit is like old and worn out but somebody is definitely trying to do spell work to keep you stuck or make you feel trapped or something okay but the the, the hard thing with the four wands yeah some of you guys are in a commitment or a marriage yeah, some of you guys got the truth, got some truth and clarity about somebody being married to this person is married. With the King of Cups in reverse, they are. They're stuck in some type of bullshit here with somebody that they don't even want to be with, really. Yeah, this this person, um, Lord, Four of Wands is stability, is security, it's a marriage, possibly a home situation. For some of you, this is just you on stage. You, you have a lot of supporters. You have a lot of people around you that's supporting your, um, your work, whatever you do for work, uh, any type of spiritual work, people around you support you. Okay, you're being celebrated. This could be somebody who wants to reunite with you even. Maybe they've woken up. I mean, I hope that's them. I can't really tell right now. But somebody here is woke. like you know your person could be woke too right but they keep staying stuck here and that's was maybe for stability purposes and that's why the spell work keeps working right because i feel like if someone calls someone out on their shit they're gonna like do the most I, I don't know but definitely whoever this woke person is has walked away they kept their dignity their pride their 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 fucking um integrity and check their morals their values it's like this is out of your fucking jurisdiction like this is not where you want to be so you you're moving forward what's this world card yeah some of you guys could do this shit all over the world you're a public speaker or you speak the truth you're very authentic you're very real yeah you're helping people to awaken you do this for a lot of people all over the fucking globe so what is the world card and somebody here is toxic as fuck they don't like it yeah the fool yeah you took a leap of faith you're you're walking away you block somebody ignore something yeah spirit is guiding you to do this here because somebody can't get it together just period the fool is aquarius aries energy yeah you took a risk away from the situation i feel like it could have been a risk because you actually cared for this person with the queen of cups upright but you had to transform this situation has kept you in a loop for a while so it's just time to walk away from it you know hmm what's this bestie card king of swords in reverse so somebody has some fake ass family members fake ass friends yeah this person gives really bad advice as well king of swords is somebody that's um either they feel either your person feels oppressed or this person here tries to oppress this bestie or whoever the fuck this is try to oppress your person or control your person this person is a malicious ass person they're a liar too somebody that's very dishonest and authentic yeah somebody trusted their best friend I, I definitely got something like that for aquarius the other day aquarius libra gemini is the king of swords energy so this is some crooked ass shit king of swords in reverse this person could even be borderline abusive king of cups is too in reverse they the king of cups is known you know depending on what other cards are surrounding it i don't see it right here but this person could be a, a could try to sexually assault you definitely a gaslight you or or um Fucking this the King of Cups could be a rapist, a molester when they're when the when other cars are surrounding it that gives off that indication. I mean but what's this bestie car with the King of Swords in reverse? Okay, yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so somebody here somebody gave this person advice to revoke their offer or pull back. And that's what the fuck they did. Yeah, this person here is a liar. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles is could have um could know your person's best friends or something like that. They could have been in cahoots and done the spell work. Yeah, this could be somebody in your family that you consider very close to you, your best friend, you know, people that you share. This could be you called this person. Yeah, this could be somebody's ex where they kept this ex, this stupid ass loser ass hoe around, which was the wrong thing to do. And they consider this person their best friend. They trusted them or whatever the fuck this person. Whoever this is, they're evil. <laughs> they are. But the Knight of Cups in reverse, yeah. So this person convinced your person or something like that to fucking lie to you or 
They try to convince your person that you weren't this, you weren't that, or you did it, da, 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 and they kept lying to you, kept repressing their feelings, their emotions, hiding how they felt. Okay, pulled back their offer from you. Knight of Cups showed you unrequited love. Knight of Cups in reverse. This person was very emotionally manipulative. Yeah, they just pulled back their energy. This person's intuition is blocked too. Knight of Cups in reverse. They, they asked, their intuition is blocked. What's this bestie card? Mm -mm -mm. yeah page of cups in reverse yeah this is just somebody is like envious they are envious they're very jealous very obsessed too this this could be somebody obsessed with your person or obsessed with you i feel like both they could somebody here could have wanted you to themselves is what i'm getting so your person could have wanted you and was doing something with you and now Somebody wants you to themselves, though. This best friend or whoever the fuck. What's this King of Swords in reverse? So we can go. Yeah, Knight of Wands. They convinced, somebody convinced someone to be a player. And this person always missed you. They were very flirty with you, very sexual with you. But you and this person, you always knew that you and this person had past lives together. You have fond memories of this person because they give you that sense of belonging. Like y'all are supposed to be together type thing. Strong, maybe strong twin flame relationship for a lot of you. Okay, that I'm pulling in. <clears throat> Yeah, this 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 is this is crazy. Or oh, this could be going if it's not a twin flame relationship, okay, it could still be happening, right? It doesn't have to be a strong twin flame relationship. It could be a strong soulmate connection that you have right now. And people are jealous as fuck. Or somebody around you that wants you for themselves is doing spell work trying to ruin your connection or whatever. But somebody convinced someone here to be hot tempered, be a player, be egotistical, be very much so in and out, in and out. Somebody could have said that you were like this, you were very sexual. What is this Knight of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Emperor, see? The Emperor with the Empress. Yeah, this is a very sad fucking situation. This could have even been this person's father doing this shit or something like that. Or they, they could have kids with this damn karmic energy. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse as a bad mother. This bitch don't take care of their kids. They have all this time to do this evil-ass demonic shit. This is stupid. But the emperor, yeah, this person was very, like, rigid. I feel like they were very stubborn with you. This person, it was hard to compromise with them. They put on this front as if they were okay or if they really, I don't know, they have some type of superiority complex or, like, inferiority complex, I meant, like, a god complex. <sighs> but they were always a divine masculine or something. What's this page of cups in reverse? But they just didn't know it, and they probably still don't. What's this page of cups in reverse? Especially if the spell work is still happening. Yeah, the goddamn Six of Pentacles. Yeah, because somebody here wanted your person to help them out or keep giving to them or keep better. Yeah, somebody's selfish. Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords. Somebody is very selfish. They planned this whole thing out. So this is somebody's plan. This was definitely somebody's plan. This car, it, it landed on put in handcuffs, public embarrassment. So somebody here could be going to jail. They ass could be going to jail, possibly. But uh, Six of Pentacles, yeah, somebody's like unemployed, possibly. They're broke or whatever the fuck. And they wanted to, um, they wanted your person to keep giving to them or be generous with them or kind to them or keep fucking, I don't know. But they definitely convinced your person to break from you and stop going towards you or whatever. This is some loser ass shit. And it's coming up in your energy, so it could still be happening for a lot of you. Okay. What else for Aries spirit? Clarify this energy here for Aries. bottom of the deck we have pure and modest secret family yeah somebody convinced someone that they were pure they were modest they didn't fuck off or they didn't have sex with other people and they guys got a secret family somewhere i feel like you're pure you're modest in your own way you you guys could dress very sexy okay that could be what this person was scared of that you were going to cheat on them like their last bitch did or whatever the fuck and you were the exact opposite you're this divine feminine you're a goddess here. So you're comfortable in your skin. You dress how the fuck you want to dress. <laughs> Just period. Like somebody got you fucked up and misconstrued, misconstrued clearly. What else? And this hoe over here probably wears fucking turtlenecks every day. And this bitch is running around because they are a cheater. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's being loyal to a goddamn loser ass hoe. And they do all types of spell work. Like a fucking weirdo that's demonic then we have a stressed out overwhelmed and anxious yeah it says looks old for their age <laughs> hi my name is karen and i am 35 years old today 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So this is this person. They're old and raggedy and dusty. Or they look old, raggedy, and dusty. Because it's a lot of old people that do look fucking good. You know what I'm saying? So they definitely look older for their age. This bitch is probably in their 20s and they look fucking... I don't know. Old as fuck. Then we have independent. Free from control. Liberated. Yeah, I feel like that's your ass. Can't nobody control you or, or try to do spell work on you. Just period. It says clingy. Let me breathe, motherfucker. <laughs> so somebody here is clingy. They're needy. Oh, Lord. Fix it. What else? So we have um, slept with a friend's lover. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that energy. This best friend, whoever this fucking best friend is. It says, I thought we could share everything. <laughs> wow, it says accessory to a crime. It's me and you against the world. I feel like the crime is spiritual. For a lot of you, this is a spiritual crime that somebody committed. They as going to spiritual jail. It says dead weight, oppressive burdens, too, too heavy to carry. Yeah, upgrades. Their friends knew them, new friends. So somebody here always gets somebody new. I feel like somebody tag teams you and gang stalks you and gets other people to go against you. Yeah, somebody's like a weirdo. Then we have big headed, think they know everything. I feel like that's your damn person. You told them about these fucking people, they didn't listen. We have unforgiving, unwilling to forgive or excuse people's faults or wrongdoings. Bad time management, can't see the bigger picture, and does not plan accordingly. Yeah, that could be a person. I feel like that's this damn loser ass hold on the spell work, too. Their plan is not fucking working. It's probably working on your masculine, but not you. Uh, and I feel like this was bad timing, too. Because your person was dealing with someone that's revengeful. They're unforgiving. They hold on to shit, and they get mad, and they lash out, and they do this stupid shit all the time. This person needs to break free from this cycle, bro. It says illegal plastic surgery. The Kim Kardashian special with the coupon code. <laughs> so somebody here does illegal plastic surgery. Or they do something illegal. It doesn't even have to be plastic surgery. Or they could have gotten plastic surgery done that looks a fucking mess. And then it says plays dumb. It ain't my fault. Did I do that? <laughs> a part of the deck is secret family. Another family plan but safely hidden away. And then we have inappropriate relations with a minor. Sex offender registry. Yeah, the King of Cups in reverse, what I just said about them being a sexual assault or uh, a molester or a rapist, it could be that this person is with somebody that's like this. Or this person could have lied and said that that's the case with this person, bro. Hmm, Lord, it's, it's something going on there, man. I don't know. But uh, this was your reading, Aries. Okay, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely leave me some comments. Y'all, I want to know what's going on. This is crazy. Um, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my notifications for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.